You must be absolutely delighted with that win. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. It's a, it's a good win. Really, I appreciate the effort that the boys put in, and especially matching them physically was was important. So yeah, delighted. Not matching physically, knocking them back on their backside, and the Bulls don't. You don't normally do that to the Bulls. Yeah, obviously it uh, was from the preseason a bit of an emphasis to be a little bit more physical than what we have to do. We worked really hard at it in compliments to the guys and it's a coaching group and our s &C group that's really bought into it. So, yeah, I think tonight um, put a little bit of heart behind it and all the people that came to watch the game and it was a successful recipe. I came to speak to you on the Thursday before the first home game, before the Cardiff game, and you were saying that, you know, it's taken a while to get your ideas over and, and people were kind of a bit afraid to make mistakes in the opening game. But tonight they seemed a lot more very assured, very accurate. Everything seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, I think it's a lesson we took from last week's game. It's obviously, we were a little bit inaccurate, especially in the beginning of the game. And against Ospreys, and I think uh, the guys took all this in some board. And tonight you could see, you know, that they were, they were clinical, especially the first part. Pity about the rain. I think we <laughs> we enjoyed the ball in hand approach. So yeah, but uh, again, another another step forward. Now, I know you know Bobby pretty well. But I'll just say to him, he predicted a Bulls win. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I, I tell you one thing, Frank. I've known you for a long, long time. I know you're a hard worker. I do know uh, you you're full of humility, though. So you won't say yourself, but I think you guys are bullied the Bulls. You know, you you you. You've got to say, for your pack, one to eight, worked hard from minute one to 80 and, and, and managed that game. The cohesion was, as, as Tommy mentioned, we were talking about, was amazing between forwards and backs. You must be delighted with the way the interplay worked out for you. Yeah, no, definitely delighted with that. Yes, uh, it's good to show, see the physicality. We know that to, I think a lot of the, 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 the European sides would have stepped up physically um, after the performance of the South African sides last year. So we all knew that we that's going to be an emphasis for us to be competitive against them. And coming from South Africa, I knew uh, the hard men from there. So, yeah, again, um, compliments to the players and everybody, that the coaching group that's bought into us. And, of course, you're going away on tour to South Africa now. So that it gives you a good springboard to go there, I guess. Yeah, obviously, I think oh, we need to be consistent now, away from home especially. I think we've, got, uh, we've, got, we've, we've dropped two games on the road, which I think we, we could have done better at. Uh, we all agreed on that. So, sure. So there's, as a collective, we, we definitely would like to roll this type of performance out now in South Africa. Matt Fagerson was the player of the match, but we probably re all reckon there was maybe about five or six guys that, that put their hands up tonight. And I guess that must, you know, kind of keep you happy as a coach because there were so many people leading on that pitch tonight. Yeah, I think the team that ran out represented very well the group that we've got. I think we've got a very good group of players, um, our uh, team culture and, and, and the structure. That, that is in place here to involve everybody in, uh, in our group is, 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 is very good. So excited that they've rep represented this group well tonight. Um, I think there's a lot of young guys and new guys still um, yeah, uh, biting uh, or wanting to show their, show their worth. So looking forward to see that. And Tommy, you know what it's like to be here at Scotsland on big nights with big wins and big crowds. So, and you were really impressed with, with Franco's side tonight. I was, yeah. I, I, I mentioned at the end in, in commentary there just how it seemed, as, as Bobby rightly said, the cohesion in the Glasgow squad seemed to be perfect tonight. There seemed to be the ambition when it was needed, moved the ball really incredibly well in the first half. Even when I thought the rain came on, I think this, the ambition to go out the back and the placement of the out the back, the runners, was, was on point. And you were stretching them in the outer channels. And then up front, as Bobby rightly mentioned and, and Dougie's mentioned, the physicality was, was phenomenal. And for me, it was the ability and the breakdown. It seemed like there was a multitude of guys who were managing to get on ball, not putting themselves in compromising positions to give away penalties for being there too long, but it always seemed to come away from the profits. So you must be incredibly happy at just being able to watch both forwards and backs get on with their job and, and then really come together in the end and make a bit of flamboyant uh, scores. Oh, well, th thank you for that. Um, again, uh, coaching group, all um, working collective in that. and. I think defensively we were good tonight and that complemented our attack. Um, uh, Pete Murchie has done a good job there and Nigel Carlin is done a, doing a great job. Pete Horn, breakdown town, he's always bringing a lot of energy. Uh, <laughs> Alan. Um, Alan he, he was there to, to protect his brother too when there was a yeah. bit of a mismatch, <laughs> just in <laughs> case. Yeah. 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 No, so yeah, everybody really buying in and uh, yeah, adding to the value to the group. And yeah, I, I've, I'm excited that they've bought into the direction. And yeah, um, there's still a lot of hard work. I'm not happy with what we've seen in for a big part of the second half. I think we can improve it still 
lot. Um, so yeah, excited uh, to, to make the next step this well, week coming. Franco, I'm sure a lot of the Warriors fans are excited to see what's coming for the rest of the season as well after that performance tonight. So congratulations. I'll let you go back over to your players and uh, thanks for joining us tonight on Premier Sports. Thank Sensational result and performance. That amazing stuff.